Hello YouTube, it's Akrit again, back with another video from the studio, and this video is not sponsored by IKEA, I just want to throw that out there real quick. It is sponsored by DistroKid, so we're going to talk about that later in the video, but the focus of this one is the new shelf from IKEA called Obegrensad, which is kind of an ironic name, because Obegrensad means literally unlimited or limitless in Swedish, and this is a part of a limited edition run from Ikea that they did together with the Swedish House Mafia, and I'm not a big fan of the Swedish House Mafia, that's not it at all, but I am a big fan of Ikea's Kallax shelf that used to be called Expedite, and a lot of people are using them to stack their records and hold gear and stuff like that, and that's what I do as well, it's right over here. And I've had this one for years by now to help me keep my records organized and I've used it to hold my turntable and synthesizers and stuff like that too. But it's a little bit on the lower side and I'm not that tall of a guy really. So I decided to put these feet on it which kind of made everything better but it also started bending at the bottom because of the weight. And then I had to shove this big piece of wood underneath the entire thing and that's just not optimal you know. So let's just replace this one with the new Obegrensad shelf from Ikea, which is a little bit taller and supposed to be made for music producers and beat makers and DJs. Could be cool. Now let's do this quick time lapse kind of thing just to get the new one set up. And just like that I'm done and this new Obegrensad shelf is all put together and ready to be used. I did have a few minor concerns while building this one though, not that I really know what I'm talking about, but still. I guess this is pretty much common knowledge for anyone who's ever built these really affordable IKEA furniture themselves. I mean this one is like 120 bucks right now, so that's affordable. But what I'm saying is that a lot of the construction on this one is totally held up by these and these guys. Small wooden rods that goes in between the different layers of like shelving. But honestly the piece itself feels nice and sturdy just like my Calyx used to do before I kind of messed it up. Of course there are also a few longer wood screws going on here that holds the main pieces of wood together and makes the entire thing kind of nice and sturdy. I'm just saying, the more of these ones I put in here, the less confident I became. But yeah. I know I keep going back and mentioning the IKEA Calyx or the IKEA Expedite as the Calyx was used to be called, and that's partly because it's such an iconic piece of furniture for anyone with 12 inch vinyl who samples, who plays records, who's a DJ, a record collector or any type of music lover for that matter. And you know, make no mistake here, this new IKEA Obegrensad is exactly an IKEA Calyx shelf but with an extra half a layer on top of it to make it a little bit taller and more suitable for DJ equipment and turntables and stuff like that. I think it's really cool, but it's maybe not that special, you know? I mean, just take a look at this. This is my old beat up white version of the IKEA Calyx shelf that I've had for years. And this is now the brand new Obegrensad shelf dropped in this limited edition run together with Swedish House Mafia today. Exactly the same measurements, the same basic design, the same construction, the same materials. The new one is just a little bit taller, which might be better. I mean, sure, take a good working concept and just make it a little bit better and rebrand it together with Swedish House Mafia in this case and sell it again. Makes total sense and I'm not mad at that at all. But I do have one real issue with the entire design language of this one, and that goes for the old Calyx as well as for the new Obegrensa, because again, they are kind of the same. I know that I'm not alone on this one, a lot of people feel this way too, but I just think it's kind of awkward that you can't fit a normal full-size turntable on top of these ones in vertical or battle or scratch mode or whatever people call that. The truth is that you kind of can, but you kind of can't. Well, you can, because I've done it for years, but the feet on the actual turntable doesn't sit flat on the surface itself. It kind of goes, you know, a little bit further than the actual piece of furniture, and the feet becomes like that instead of that. And sure, it's not the end of the world, but if you design something new for DJs and people with turntables, just make it this much bigger, you know? So it's not perfect, but considering the price point here, this is definitely one of the best pieces of furniture for someone who makes music and wants to keep records around in a studio setup like this or in a smaller home studio or something like that. 
And I also want to give IKEA a little bit of credit here for showing some love for the beatmakers community in the marketing materials for this one, because on one of the photos it's actually set up with an MPC 2000 XL, as well as one of these semi-modular boxes from Moog. That's kind of cool. You know, maybe just not the first things I think about when I think Swedish House Mafia, right? And mine right here is starting to look sad, so let's put some stuff inside and some stuff on top of it. Now a quick message from this video sponsor, which is DistroKid. If you're someone who makes music and puts your stuff out online, you should definitely know about DistroKid. It's a digital music distribution service that helps you to get your stuff out online on places like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Deezer, among many others like that. 20 bucks a year allows you to upload and release an unlimited number of tracks, singles, EPs or even albums a year. DistroKid also handles everything when it comes to finances and stuff like that, so it's nice and simple like that too. You're uploading your tracks and your album art once onto DistroKid's platform, and they pretty much handle everything from there. DistroKid also has a bunch of different tools you can use to be able to share your stuff online too. I use Hyperfollow for that, my link is down below, and it's a nice simple way for everyone to find all your links to all your stuff at once. Of course, I also have this VIP link to DistroKid down below you can use to get a little bit of a discount, so please do that. And thanks a lot to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. It's a nice and simple service. Now, let's get back to talking about this one. So, what more is there really to say about this one? Honestly, not much. If you know about the IKEA Kallax or you have one since before, you know all about this. It's exactly the same product, but just a little bit taller and only available in black. And I gotta say that I think it's a little bit unfortunate that this one is a part of this limited edition Obegrensad collection from Ikea, because I could see this one come in handy for more people that will probably be able to get a hold of one. Was this worth going to Ikea like 15 minutes before the store opened and finding myself standing in a queue together with a lot of people that was super excited about all the new products in this new Obegrensad collection? Well, kind of not. I wasn't expecting all that. I wasn't aware of the hype behind all this, but now I have this Ikea Obegrensad shelf and I'm really happy about it. I'm sure it's going to be really useful in my studio setup and that's cool. But if this one or a product really similar to it became available in the normal like IKEA stores for anyone to get anytime, anywhere, I think that would be really cool and useful for a lot of people who makes music and keeps records around. But again, it's not that special and it's definitely not worth any type of hype. It's just a normal piece of IKEA furniture, but marketed towards people like me. And now when I think about it, it might actually be a little bit too tall for someone like me, or maybe I'm just not used to it yet and it feels strange, but it's probably just too soon to tell. However, you're gonna see this a lot more in my future YouTube videos because it's here now and I kinda like it. And that's a complete YouTube video about one single piece of IKEA furniture. I didn't really see that one coming, but you know, I'm making a pretty dope beat for my next video, so stick around for that. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, ha det gott. Accurate beats. Accurate beats. Accurate beats.